Yeah, 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 peace to the gods and the earths. Mad rapper, D-Dot, Crazy Cat, I'm in the house. Gemini Keys, D-Dot Keys, CNN Keys, Leo Keys, however you want to call it. We Zodiac signs, we rappers, we're, we're hosts, we rock me TV. That's all I know, baby. Don't shrink that screen, and motherfucker, definitely don't shrink them drawers, man. Are there any artists today that you put on back then that when you make that call don't show any love, man? Wow. I, I probably would only say the artist that I put on would probably be Kanye. But I, all the other artists that haven't shown me love, I didn't necessarily put them on, but I was there before anybody else was around or I made a significant impact in it and I've never gotten the love. So people like Eminem, I've never collaborated with him since. So that's just real, that's no disrespect. It's just, right. that's real, it's never happened. So, you know, I, I haven't gotten that. 50 has never really done a record with me. You know what I'm saying? Like post, you know, never, you know what I'm saying? Never came at me. Not that I started his career or made or break any of these guys' career. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you think about their careers, I, I believe that somewhere along the line, I had some type of significant impact uh, that's a part of it. Even I remember, you know, seeing some of these dudes and I get love up front and it's always love. We give each other hugs and kisses and all that crazy shit, but it ain't no money being spread. It ain't no your dot. Good looking here. You know what I mean? Come do this for us. I got an audition like everybody else. All right, cool, that's, that's real, that's business. And I, I ain't mad, I'm just giving you the answer to your question. How did the Mad Rapper get created? And um, at that time, what artists were you referring to? Yeah, I don't know if you want me to answer no questions about the Mad Rapper right now, so I'll just say. <laughs> um, nah, nah, um, let me see. The Mad Rapper got created because of the, 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 the East Coast, West Coast beef. Yeah, that's where it came from. And real quick story was, all of us were sitting in the studio one day and the beef is going on, and there's so many stories, I don't need to get into it, but the one particular story is we were all sitting in the studio, Biggie and all of us, the whole Junior Mafia crew, and you know, doing what we do, drinking, smoking, partying, whatever, and the, a video comes on television, and it's them mimicking us with the, bit with the, you know, they mimicking us. You talking about the hit em up video? Not that one, right? I, th I don't remember what video it was, I, you know, okay. don't quote me on that, but okay. so, something video-wise happened. So it, it was just like, our motto is not to retaliate. That ain't what we do. You know, I think if we would have did that, we wouldn't be where we're at today. So our motto was just to, you know, well, at least my motto was, I'm, I'm a rapper too, and I know Big wants to eat him alive because Big will eat, you know, he'll eat him alive. But so I just decided to make fun of him. Okay. And you know, this was also this was my opportunity to get myself on a on a Biggie album. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing if Puff was gonna like it or not, but it was my opportunity. So. And that's what I did, and, and that's what I came up with. A, I came up with a talk show. Like I just thought that would be funny, I like a, a rap, like a rapper in rehab or something. Yes. Like you know what I mean? So, and that's what I came up with, and people liked it. The next thing I know, I got paper, baby. I'm doing my thing. I'm making money, mommy. Look, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. You know what I'm saying? Well, those mad rapper skits made a lot of rappers look themselves in the mirror, trying not to be that guy. So, do you think today is wise to be doing all that hating kind of stuff behind the camera when you're trying to chase that corporate yeah. dollar? Uh -uh. Trying to chase the corporate dollar. I'm gonna keep it so real with you, son. Hate is the new love. That's the new love. If you're not hating, you're whack. All these rappers are only on because they're hating. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think they would be selling these records if they didn't have all this drama beefing with one another over some bullshit? That's whack. I was hating to be fun. They hate him because that's what their careers is based on. They don't got no love for themselves and they don't got no love for each other. And that's all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, the Matt Rapper applaud y'all. I'm the daddy of the hate, the godfather of the hate, the hate that hate produced. That's me. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? So now y'all doing it on a level that don't make sense though, because it ain't funny. It's actually really whack. And I'm a grown man telling y'all that. And I wish one of them would come out and diss me. I dare them. You marking that? Because I don't play on the records. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling them, if they want to play, they're going to end up hurting somebody. Real dangerous, because this is not a game when you're playing with people's livelihood, man. Now on the joke side, this me, I need some money. I'm trying to get out there, I'm trying to get on Angie Martinez and, and pull my heart out to flex and say, yo, yo, son, for real, they, they came at me, son, they came at me. So fuck them, whatever rappers out there, give a fuck where you from, please diss me so I can come out and make some money. I got kids to feed, baby, let's go, baby, please, baby. November 19th, 1998, yeah. that was the day you assaulted Blaze Magazine Ooh. editor Jesse Washington, legend, allegedly, 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 that's the key word, yeah, assaulted editor Jesse Washington for revealing the identity of the mad rapper. Right. Why did it have to go that route? You have to ask Jesse Washington that. I mean, all I know is I ended up losing $700,000. Okay. 
So you tell me who would catch an ass whipping behind that. <laughs> Anybody out there disagree? Wave your hands. <laughs> 700,000 down the drain, stinking, no go. You still feeling that hit to this day? I mean, yes, but not really. But anybody, I still think about it and cry because it was 200000 out of my pocket and a $500,000 deal that got erased that night. It's like when Kobe did his thing and all the people ran for the hills. Mine ran for the hills that night and that weekend when I was on Saturday Night Live and they said, and in hip-hop news, super producer Derek Angeletti assaults da 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 When asked why did he do it, he says, I just wanted to remix his face. I'm on Saturday Night Live and they clowning me. But meanwhile, I'm on, over the toilet like, because I just lost a half a million dollar deal with a sneaker company. Because wow. they don't want, they didn't want, they, you know, we can't have that representing our brand. And they had to dig in my pocket to not go to jail to say, yep. Wow. So it's See, all good. He got paid. I, 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 I did the wrong thing. I didn't, I didn't necessarily. Allegedly did the I wrong allegedly thing, right? I did the wrong thing. Yeah. But I never said I touched him. I just said he got hurt. I didn't say I touched him. But I had to pay. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. That's the, you live and you learn. I was young and dumb. That's what happens when you're young and dumb. You do dumb shit like that and you got to pay for it. And I paid my price and that's what it is. So let me ask you something. How would you have handled that scenario today knowing what you know now? Today, today I just would have went over his head. I would have just went to his bosses because I'm that powerful. You know what I'm saying? Back then I, I had a little power, but I also was young and dumb. So I wanted to show my power in another way, as opposed to doing it the smart way. Now I just went over his head, went to his boss, took his boss out to lunch, explained to him the severity of the situation, and let him handle it. Because right. of the internet today, man, do you think the way people are um, promoting themselves on the web, do you think that's sort of similar to what's going on in that WWE wrestling kind of thing? You know how they be yelling in front of the camera, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to do this. That kind of reminds me of the Vince McMahon thing back in the days when I was younger. I think the difference is that the dudes on WWE, they get paid to do that. You know, that's a huge difference. These dudes on the internet, they're trying to get money by doing it. And, and because they have the access, this is their dream come true, to have people seeing them and them clowning and doing whatever. So that's the only difference to me. I, I'm not really a WWE fan, so I don't really know. Not to say I don't watch it, but I, I just don't follow it like that. But to me, them dudes get paid to do that. So if you pay me that type of money, I'll, I'll song so and cool, dance. Yeah. How you think the Mad Rapper came out? They gave me some money. Nigga, I'll clown, dude. I'll tap dance, nigga. I'll put on a, a red nose, whatever you need me to do for that paper. Nigga, let's go. Nigga, let's go. I know how it gets done. You once said that New York East Coast rappers need to go back to being produced. Yeah. Now, I need to know what you mean by that. And um, has the internet hurt that part of the game? Um, I did say that I think uh, rappers and artists in general, not just rappers, need to go back to being produced. And, you, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You take a rapper from off the street and you give him the opportunity to just go into the basement on his own and make any type of record he wants without no interference, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to get some average just music you know i'm not discrediting anybody that could do it because i'm sure there's hit record makers out there in their basements but nine times under ten you're gonna get some basement type of just rapping over some beats and some whatever hooks the beauty of having people like myself and the jermaine's and the puffies and the dr dre's and the and the timberlands and the pharrell's is is that they bring another perspective to you it's adding on it's not taking away you know what I'm saying? And so when you're produced, you get to look at the record from another person's point of view, which is always what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not biased to the record like you are. They're not as married to your verses. I mean, I met rappers that spit a verse and there's no way they're writing it over. They are married to that verse and it don't matter. That shit could be the most non-melodic, non-making sense shit there is, but because it came from their heart, they feel like that's the one. And I'm saying, okay, it came from your heart, but that ain't the good formula to put in this stew. That's like putting milk in beef stew. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it might work for some people, but for this particular formula, that shit don't work. You know what I mean? You could try that over another beat. You know, milk and cookies go together. So if we got some cookies, put the milk together, they go good. But my beef stew, you know what I mean? I don't really want some 2% some dairy in it. You know what I mean? Dad, we got to sign off real quick. More with Gemini Keys. D-Dot, keep it locked. We'll be right back. You're watching Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen.